Welcome back to Christopher's Noise Discovery. I've got another art piece for you guys today, and it's from the Italian painter Raphael. Now, Raphael was born in 1483 and lived till 1520. Sadly, he died very young, at 37 years of age. However, he was very talented and his talent was rewarded by being buried in the Roman Pantheon in Rome, Italy. The Roman Pantheon is a very highly respected place in ancient Rome and in, in modern Catholic history and he lies there with others such as Voltaire and Hugo but we want to talk about his fantastic art piece, The School of Athens, that he painted between 1509 and 1511. Now, Raphael was commissioned by Pope Julius II, the same Pope that commissioned Michelangelo to paint the 16th Chapel. Let me say that correctly, Sistine's Chapel. And Raphael's School of Athens is situated in the Stanze di Raffaello, the Raphael Rooms. And it's to do with ancient Greece and mainly with the philosophers of ancient Greece. So if we look at them a bit closely, here we have on the left hand Plato and on the right we have Aristotle. Now Plato and Aristotle are highly influential in Western thought, in Western philosophy. Plato with his philosophy of beauty, virtue, moral thought and Aristotle was a student of Plato and Plato incidentally was a student of Socrates. Here we have Pythagoras Pythagoras was a proponent of the, the transmission of the soul, the soul being immortal. And here we have Eusilid, uh, inventor of geometry. And here we have Heraclitus. Heraclitus preceded most of uh, these philosophers, so he's pre-Socratic philosophy. And he sits in his thinking position and uh, that was a small quick uh, demonstration of Raphael's School of Athens and uh, just to tell you uh, again uh, I like doing these and I I'll bring you some more and you can go and research for it further yourself I just want to give you a, a small taste of it and not bore you to death with long videos. And uh, yeah, I think it'd be, it, it's much more interesting that way, quick information and you can decide whether you want to look it up yourself. So see you again.